Here we are, mid-October already. Uh, years flown by and, and the market's in a pretty interesting spot. In this video, I'm gonna quickly run through where it appears we are, where I think we're going, and what that means if you're a real estate agent, homeowner, uh, someone in the market looking to purchase and kind of where the opportunity lies. So let's break it down. Uh, there are plenty of 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 year olds who wanna either buy their first home, sell, buy their, their kind of upgrade home, downsize. There's plenty of demand in the market if home ownership is affordable or buying in this market is affordable. And that's where interest rates are really having a really big impact on, on the stance of, of the current market. Rates are high and, and why is that? There's really three factors that, that I look at and, and that dictates where, where kind of rates are at and where they're going. One is inflation and inflation has definitely come down year over year, but we're still higher than that 2% mandate uh, outlined by the Fed. We're, we're a little over 3%. So that tells us we've made a lot of progress but we're still not quite there. Two is jobs. The jobs market has been extremely resilient, even with the Fed uh, increasing the cost of financing. And that, that means companies hire less and or cut staff. Jobs numbers are still staying pretty strong. And then the third is consumer spending. Um, consumer spending as of this morning uh, is still beating expectations. So we see all these strengths in the economy that, that tells us inflation is, is still being stubborn, and we're gonna be in this higher rate environment for longer than, than maybe we would have thought. So when we put the reports together and, and all the data, it tells us that we're, we're in a position where the Fed may or may not increase interest rates moving forward. And what that tells us is we're right at that precipice where they're, they're trying to find that balance where they can see improvement, their version of improvement, improvement in the numbers, which ultimately means we're, we're I believe, at the peak or pretty close to the peak of, of rates. And that's that's really the, 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 the most uncomfortable position to be if you're thinking affordability, demand in the market, but that presents opportunity. In addition to Fed actions, let me show you why I think we may be near the, the top or the peak of rates. So this is a look at the 10-year treasury that, that kind of moves in lockstep to, to mortgage bonds. Um, you can see over the last year, you know, we, we've, we've since mid-year been on a trajectory higher. If we zoom out and we go five years, you can see we are now higher in, in, in rate than we've been over the past five years. However, if we zoom out even further and we go back to 2007, you can see we're, we're nearing those levels. So when we think in terms of floor support, ceilings of resistance, we have kind of the ultimate ceiling of resistance at about 5.326% on the 10 year. And what that translates to in, in mortgage rates is about 8.3%. Um, we may top out there, hard to say kind of what the Fed will do here, how the markets will react at our current level. Uh, but if we do, I do think we may see something like this where we top out. And then because we see a weakening in the economy, we'll probably be on a lower rate trajectory pretty quickly after in mind. Where there is opportunity in the market is, is on the real estate side. So finding the right house, there are a lot of really great properties that are sitting on the market and, and they are garnering demand, but not like they were a year, two, three years ago. Uh, so that creates an opportunity to get in, get the right home, and then fine tune the finances down the road. And the way to bridge the gap is with some of these creative options, and that is a temporary rate buy down, a permanent rate buy down, and being a bit more aggressive with your negotiation up front to bridge the gap, get you in the home in a way that's comfortable for you, and then refining the financing down the road.